but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. take a shot right away and nearly picked off surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away but it does get away and it's second down so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down catch that he turned into a runner took the contact and coughed it up and all I remember as a player when they catch the ball when those acrobatic guys catch it you have to make them pay sometimes you have to put it on them big tackle knock the ball free anything you can do to slow them down tackle on that one and then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15 he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four Mark Short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the no, offensive no, 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 side, Jack, is it? Patriot, Defense Patriot. understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. It's a quarterback sneak, and they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! Williams. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Stop just outside the five at the six. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. 
They go play action with Jackson. Got a man. It's Johnson. End zone for a Dolphins touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A handoff to Fournette. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And they'll run it for the first time with Ricky Williams. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From the shotgun, it's Vic. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Vic readies to throw. Well, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. They've got it first and 10 following the fumble recovery. Detroit! Detroit! All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Here we go now. Now Williams, and able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here, because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Try the left side here with Williams. 20! And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Ricky Williams, 42 yards. 
Woods. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. A second down throw for Vic. He's gonna float this one deep right side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, the good defensive position, able to affect the play. Vic to throw it. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And got his man complete! A big gain of 38 there on third down. And how about that throw? We saw a combination of elite arm strength and obviously the ability to move the sticks with that completion. But it's the way that he throws the ball, so compact, yet the ball comes off of his hand and it just whistles to the receiver. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second down, Vic. it to Julio Jones. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. First catch so far for Julio. He's got a first down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Double, double, double. Now Leonard Fournette, and he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles. Because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On third down, Vic. Man open, it's Moss complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? 
I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Here's Fournette. Now he's home for the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Morton Anderson now for the extra point. Extra point by Anderson up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. Anderson now to kick this one away. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper right, play. Like but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Jackson on first down. That's it for the first and abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, right, second and 10. Lucky 56. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Play action. Now Jackson. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a pitch out to Williams. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one. And it'll be second and 11. Gun, it's Jackson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets. 
but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Here's Michael Vick. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Vaughn Miller in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. To throw, Vic. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Anderson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. forward to about the 27 yard line give him a couple on the carry there second and eight well he was looking for some running room and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play i think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders they were rallying to the football pretty quickly Detroit! they'll break the Detroit! huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line Now Jackson on second down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Lawrence Taylor. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Play action. It's Jackson eluding the pressure right. Over the middle, that's caught by T.O. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. scrimmage but that's all no gain on the play it'll be second down but at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss yeah give credit to the defensive player though what did he do made him slow down slow up his feet and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off and welcome back we are in the city of brotherly love philadelphia Again with Williams. And 
the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. On third down, Jackson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Lawrence Taylor in there to get him for his second sack of the night. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draft. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now a second down throw for Vic. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. experience and some moxie you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play he can hurt you downfield he reads defenses so well doesn't he he really does and the best part about that play for him i don't think that was his primary target i don't think so either i think he had to read figured out where the blitz was coming from and went to a secondary target for a really nice game Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. to the 10. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. That's what they need right now. Get the first down. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Just playing smart football. Understanding the situation. Making the plays necessary and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Vic now 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Now Fournette. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now 
in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down, here's Fournette. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Hey, New go. England on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. A loss of a yard and it brings up four. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Line, line, line. 300, 300. On, on. Line, line, line. 300, 300. Line, line, line. 300, 300. On, on. Wait, what's that? Wait, wait, wait. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. And good. So it's now a three point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Anderson now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. They give him a gain of 37. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Back to throw. Buying time to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Patriots have it. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, Taking care of the ball, so important. 
I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Well, partner, even though my phone alarm failed me this morning and our... <laughs>